Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we have a, uh, a fairly easy job we're going to do. We're going to be actually hanging this coat rack on the wall behind me. A um, couple things you have to know when you're ready to put this coat rack up is uh, one, if you're going to hit a beam, because in this particular case we have four screws that go in through the, the wood here, 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 and then on the bottom on the corresponding piece of wood on the bottom. Um, what we need to do is we need to determine if when we put these screws through here, if it's going to touch into a beam or not. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take this, put it on the wall, put a small little mark on the wall where we want it through this point right here, and then we're going to take a stud detector and we're going to move it along the wall to see if there's a stud behind it. If you don't have a stud uh, de uh, detector or something to locate a stud in the wall, I'm going to show you another way you can do it without the stud detector. It's just as easy. Um, let me just give you an example of what kind of tools you're going to need and then we'll get started. All right, first thing we're going to need is a drill to drill a hole in the wall. And the drill is going to be to either accommodate the mollies or it's going to be for the screws to go into the beam to screw into the beam. We're going to find out if there's a beam where we're going to put it or not. We're going to need an assortment of drill bits. We're going to need in this particular case we need to put these plastic spacers behind it because these plastic spacers actually keep the the wooden, wooden um, coat rack from on the back of the coat rack the screw holes and the screws in the back of it we don't want them to, to hit the wall so we're going to put these spacers on it to keep it pulled away from the wall just a little bit you're going to need a screwdriver a pencil a hammer a stud finder and then of course our mollies and the screws that we're going to put in. We are going to use the drill, but instead of using the screwdriver to put the screws into the wall, we're going to use the, the drill with the screwdriver bit on the end of it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, let's get up there, we're going to locate where we're going to put it, and then we're going to put the marks on the wall first, okay? So we're going to take it and we're going to put it where we want to have the coat rack located, so we're going to bring it up, and I know I want to have the top of the coat rack, I want to have it even with this shelf right up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up over here so that it's even like this. And then we're going to find out if this is the right location for it. We're going to take our pencil, put a very small little dot on here. We're going to actually stop because I have to get a sharper pencil because it won't go through right here. So let me just get a different pencil and we'll come right back. Okay, now that we have our pencil sharpened, we can continue with this walking where we want to put the, the rack itself. Okay, so we want to actually, I want it to have it even with the shelf here, so that's where it is. Okay, so now we have our four spots located on the wall. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here with a stud finder to see if there's a stud behind where I want to mount this. So here's our one mark here. Here's our second mark right here. So let's see if, if we have a stud there. Okay, so we know we have a stud here. And of course we have a stud over here. So where we want to mount our rack here and here, there is no studs. And now if you didn't have this stud finder, don't run out and buy one. You can do it without it. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. What you're going to do is you're going to take a very small drill bit. Okay, so we take a very small drill bit and then we put a mark here, 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 and here. Now if you didn't know there was a beam behind there, what you would do is you take your drill and put it on that spot right there. Of course, if you can't see, it's always a good idea to wear your glasses. Now we're going to drill it very slowly. We've got to put our hand up here so that way when we're drilling, 
once the drill goes through the drywall, which is either going to be half inch or three eighths, whatever, we're not going to actually let it slide and hit the wall and damage it further. So we're going to drill very little. And you see how that just went through the wall right there? So if you didn't know if there was a beam behind there, if there was a beam, it would hit the beam and it wouldn't drill, it wouldn't go through like this. But now you can see here, I could push this right through, so we know there's no beam in the wall right there. So we're going to take this. Now we know there's no beam here. But if you weren't sure if there's a beam here, then you would do the exact same thing on this side. Put your drill on that mark that you have and drill very little, very slowly. Now you see how that popped into the wall there and it went in? So now we know that there's no beam in there either. So now we know there's no beam here, there's no beam here, then for sure we're not going to have a beam here or here either. So now what we need to do, now that we know there's no beams behind there, we now confirmed that we need to put mollies in the wall. What a molly is, is a molly is mounted in the wall and when you take your screw and you screw this screw into it, it expands. Let me give you an idea of what happens when you put a molly in. You see when the screw comes in? It's going to get to this point here and it's going to push it open. You see how it pushes it open? And that'll hold this nice and tight inside the wall. So let's take this back out. Okay, now we need to determine what size hole we have to drill in the wall to mount this molly. And what you can do is you put the molly in the wall here, and you can see that's a little bit. This is the size of the hole here for the molly. You can see it's a little bit loose going in. Remember, it's always better to make the hole a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill it that size right there. So let's... Uh, Put this drill bit back. This is the one we're going to use. So we're going to switch it over now. Now, he's going to take the bit out, open it up. Take our new bit, put it in here, and now we're going to tighten it. And the way you tighten, just hold the chuck and you press the button. And it tightens it up like that. So let's drill one hole first and we'll see if it's the right size. We'll do this one here first. Now you don't want to drill in too far and like I said the chuck of the drill will hit into the wall and create a very large hole in it so you want to drill it very slowly while holding your hand behind it or back here so you don't bang through the wall by accident. Now we're going to take our molly, take our molly and put it up on the wall you can see it's fairly tight. We're going to tap it in just like that. All right, and we're going to do the same thing over here. And don't hit it too hard because you don't want to damage the wall around it. All right, so now we know we're going to drill four holes this size. Remember, when you're putting mollies in the wall, it's always better to have the hole a little smaller than a little bigger. If it's too big and you put a molly in there and it just slides inside the wall, then what's going to happen is when you try to put the screw in it, the molly and the screw is just going to rotate and it won't tighten up. All right, so let's, uh, let's grab our, uh, our, uh, our rack and hang it up. Now, remember, I did tell you I was going to use the drill instead of using a screwdriver, but you can use a screwdriver. What I'm choosing to do is just take this out and we're going to put in a bit like this and that's my screwdriver. Okay, now remember what I told you about these, these shims here. They're going to go in the back. They're going to go on the back here, on the back over here, because you see these screws sticking through. We don't want these screws hitting the wall and damaging the wall, so we're going to put these behind it 
we're going to put the screw through like this, put that over the top like that, on all four of them. Okay, so now we have the, uh, I'm just going to say this because um, Mrs. Jim the car guy, better known as Mrs. Get It Done, was had to stop the film because there was dust up on here. We had to clean the dust off before we put it up and it's back behind where nobody can see it. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we're going to take this now. We're going to hang it up over here. Now remember I told you I'm going to do all four of them. I'm just going to catch the top two in there first, but I am going to use a screwdriver. I'm not going to screw it in uh, with, the, uh, with the drill yet. Okay, so now we have the two top ones caught here, and you can see that the bottom is loose, and I didn't tighten these up. And the reason for that is because sometimes you'll need to move the, the rack around slightly one way or the other to get the screws to line up. So we're going to put the bottom screws in now. We're putting our shim on the back of it, that spacer. We're going to do the same thing on this side over here. We have that spacer on the back, and now we're going to catch it in the mollies in the back. Okay, so now that we have all four of the mollies are caught, the screws are caught, now we can go ahead and snug it in. You do not want to over tighten it because if you over tighten it you may wind up stripping out the molly and the screw won't tighten. So we're just going to screw it down. Same thing here. And now I'm just going to check it with the screwdriver to make sure that it's tight. And that's it. Our rack is now on the wall. Hopefully it's not going to fall down, but uh, you should be perfect now. Now I do have one more thing I have to show you. Here's my girls. Come on. Come on out. They were by the door wondering what I was doing in here. They heard me in here making noise and doing stuff and they were standing by the door in there and I could hear them like whining a little bit so I knew that they wanted to see what was going on in here. Now Molly's ready to go back inside. Mia on the other hand is outside snooping around to see what she can do. Alright so that's it. We have some place now to hang our coats, to hang our our leashes for the dogs, because that's where the leashes were. The, the dogs were in jackets as well. And that's it, we're all done. All right, so uh, just make sure you use the right size mollies for the right size job. Don't use one too small or too big, and you should be perfect. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.